All right, we're gonna try this. I've heard way too many crazy things to not give this app a test. So there's this app called Randonautica. It looks very like third party, to be honest. Like it's not very polished for an app. It's gonna give us this random location in a certain radius of where we currently are. There's supposed to be some sort of synchronicity that happens when we get there. Finding the location, focus on your intent. So our intent would be, I wanna find money. So when we get to this location that it just gave me, we should be able to find something surrounding money. Okay, we got our spot. Where the hell is this? Oh man, I know exactly where this is. Oh my God, it's today's DIY. We need to go to a Home Depot. It brought me to the parking lot of a Home Depot. Let's go there and see if there's any sort of synchronicity with money. We're pulling up to our spot here. It's literally just up there. Oh, ho, ho. I'm literally in the exact spot. All right, there's supposed to be money somewhere around here. My life be like, uh, Gotta keep your eyes peeled, baby. A penny, a nickel. Like, it's not even in the spot, it's like right here. Exact point. So from here is supposed to be a synchronicity or you set your intent and we should find money. Oh my, yo, I found a dime. Are you rolling this? Quick roll this. Guys, I just found a freaking dime. Holy cow. So our spot where we were, Randonautica brought us was right behind my car. One, two, three and a half spots over. We found a dime. Oh man, let's see what we got next. What's a good intent? Maybe a rainbow. Ooh, it's a neighborhood. Ooh, ooh. If, there's a, if there's like a pride flag flying, it still counts. A rainbow of any kind. Evelyn Ave, let's go. Rainbow hunting, baby. If number two ends up working and there's a rainbow within the vicinity of where we're at, I'm gonna do one more that is like obscure as hell. We're coming up on it right now. It is this street right here, Evelyn. Okay, it should be here on the right. It's right here. I swear to God. Oh my God. Do you see what's in that window right there? Holy sh man. We are in the exact spot and directly to my left there's a rainbow. I can't f***ing believe that. Do you see, can you get that on camera? Oh my God. I cannot believe this right now. Literally we're in the exact spot. You look to your left, it's the first window directly in line with where we're at is a rainbow. Guys, I can't believe this shit. One last one. What about a rabbit? It could be a live rabbit, it could be a picture of a rabbit. All right, here we go. The next spot is, we're right there. Oh damn, okay, it's like a, uh, this is like in a forest beside a creek. Okay, this is the spot. I hear a kid. You hear that kid? Oh, there's a fence. There's a gate right there. Man, this, this is a sketch. There's no way there's a freaking rabbit or a bunny. Let's check this out. If we're gonna find a rabbit, it's gonna be a real rabbit because it's taking us back here. There's one camera there. Oh, it's all windows, man. We're gonna go down and over. This is a sketch-ass forest, eh? I don't wanna go through the windows, so let's go this way. Ew, look at all the garbage. Gotta find that rabbit. Oh, spider web, that's exactly what I wanted to avoid. So we're covered from the windows, which is good. Man, you can see from here, there's an office with lights on. We would have definitely been spotted because that's exactly where the spot is. I swear to God, we better find a rabbit after this. Oh my God, there's a lady at her computer. She's at her desk right there. Imagine her name's Rabbit. De oh my God, that's a squirrel. <laughs> the spot is right over there. Maybe there's like a rabbit in her office. <laughs> rabbit, 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 where are you? All right, let's ditch this one. Damn, no rabbit, no rabbit. All right, I guess we can start this week's DIY. Day two, we are at Home Depot for this. It actually, we're actually at the same spot that I found my money or the dime, <laughs> not a lot of money. We need to get our supplies today. The entire DIY is happening today. It's gonna be a long day. Strap yourselves in. We're going for a ride. Oh, 
Ooh, a dime. I just found a dime. <laughs> Step one, we have all of our stuff here. We've got a drop cloth down, we've got some white paint, we've got our board. Now this is an optional step right here, guys. You don't need this spray gun. You can totally paint this on with a brush, so don't be intimidated by this. Step one is we're gonna paint this all white. We're on step two now. Well, step one is drying, we're moving over to the Cricut. Here we are in Cricut design space. You do not need to use a Cricut for this part. You could freehand it, you could draw whatever you want for the initial piece. I'm doing it just because I want it to be sort of like relatively perfect. I like you, period. So that's stage one. We're gonna hit make it. The good thing about the Cricut, at least if you have the Cricut Air 2, it's got Bluetooth. So you don't actually like hook this up with cords or anything. It'll basically act as sort of like a, a wireless printer that it's actually gonna be cutting instead of printing. <music> Now that we have our writing printed out, all we're gonna do is just peel this off the of sticky paper very carefully. Now we're missing the things like the, the inside of the E and the O, so we're gonna have to keep that. And now we've got a stencil, which is perfect. Now we're not actually done with the Cricut just yet. There's a two-part thing to this like reveal art. You've got your initial piece that you would look at with the, the naked eye, you wouldn't see anything. And then we're gonna have our second piece, which is when we throw the sand, it's gonna pop up. So we have I Like You, that's the initial art piece, right? When we throw the sand, we want it to say, I love you, exclamation point. Love, in all capitals, right above it. We're gonna have a dash through this, and then we're gonna need an exclamation point. So let's add that. Okay, so, Charlie, no, don't start. Once we have everything in place, we can now go to this. We can delete that, <clears throat> and this is what we're gonna have to print out next. So you're gonna wanna hit attach. Now these pieces are locked in. They're like baked in where they're at. And let's do that all again, but with a different word. So that pretty much does it for the Cricut. We don't need that anymore in this DIY, so we'll put that away, just on the floor. <laughs> this is our spray glue stencil. We're gonna have, I like you, period, spray painted in red. Then we're gonna go over top, put with spray glue, spray glue all this. So you're not actually gonna see this, you're not gonna see any of this. Take it off, you're still gonna see that. But when we throw the black sand, boom, this gets revealed because the black sand is actually gonna stick. Step three. Spray painting. Now this can get messy and I advise you guys to do this outside just because you do not want to breathe this stuff in. I'm not doing any of that. <laughs> so don't follow what I'm doing at this point. You want to line up your first stencil. So for us, it's going to be the I like you. Ah. There it is, let's take it off. A little bit of overspray. We just want the red paint to dry as much as possible right now. We'll go in with a brush, clean it up before we do our next step. We've let this dry. The next step is we're gonna take our invisible layer. We're gonna place this right over top of where we want it to go. Now the way we're gonna do that is we're using Easy Tac. The reason why we're using Easy Tac versus spray glue, spray glue will dry and then some of the sand can actually fall off. Easy Tac will stay tacky for a, like a pretty long time. Also, because we're not throwing the sand in my house, Easy Tac will still be sticky by the time we get to the park. And that's another bonus. Let's spray this. Oh, she's so southern, so she feels so we've got our invisible letters there. But if you look really close, it is gonna be sort of an off-white color. All right, let's go to the park. Step three, this is the best part of this DIY. We brought our sign to a park where we can actually throw this sand and it's not gonna be like a huge mess in my house. Take our colored sand in our hand and we're just gonna whip it at the easy tacked part of the sign. It's gonna stick and then we're gonna have our sort of like revealed art piece.
actually worked, look at that. I knew it would work because I've done this before, but it worked beautifully, man, like perfect. I've got a little bit of sand left. Take some in your hand and sort of go a little bit closer and rub it on, and then it'll actually, like, see the top of the L right here? Like that. Don't push at this point. Lightly rub and then let it fall through. And that right there is how you make reveal art. I'm sure it's been done before. I don't anticipate I'm the first one to do it, but you guys can do anything. You can do a face with a smiley face up here. You can do your name. That's another art DIY. Guys, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. If you're not getting notifications, which a lot of you guys are saying, follow me on Instagram at Danocracy because I post behind the scenes video, extra photos all week long. I'll also be sharing when videos go live first on Instagram, just cause I know YouTube can be like finicky like that. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. See you guys later.